guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video I'm going to talk a little bit about that first coming out experience. The very first person that I told that I was trans. Now if you're part of the LGBT community then you know that coming out is just Unfortunately, it's not a one-time deal. It seems to be like a lifetime thing. There's always someone else that you feel like you've got to come out to. So, in this one, I actually, the first person I came out to was my best friend. So, a little bit of backstory. Um, I moved to the Midwest about five years ago. And when I started my new job, uh, my best friend, who would become my best friend, was one of the first ladies I met. And she and I immediately clicked. We immediately just had that, that bond. Um, so she and I have pretty much shared everything over the years since then. We've been incredibly close, even when I moved to a different part of the state for, you know, a promotion in my career. She and I still talk every day. Um, pardon my ums. I just realized I do that as a side note. So see if you can count how many ums I do. So anyway, talking about when I first came out. So I talked about how I was having a lot of dysphoria over facial hair. That was a real problem that I had. It really upset me. So I decided that I was going to start laser hair removal. And she actually knew about that from the very beginning, but had no idea what was going on behind it. She knew I would get really anxious about facial hair, and she had seen me, you know freak out midday because some would be poking through my foundation and it just did not make me very comfortable. But she didn't know everything that was going on behind it. Then uh, when I started looking for a therapist, she knew that I was looking for a therapist as well. But again, she had no clue what was going on behind that. So finally, after I'd started making therapy appointments and trying to get that set up, she and I were on the phone one evening, and she just outright asked me if I was trans. And I didn't know how to respond. I hadn't even said the words out loud to myself yet, let alone to anyone else. So I immediately backed away really quickly and just told her, hey, I'm not ready to talk about that right now. To her credit, she immediately picked up on it, and the conversation was totally changed. So a few weeks later, it was time for my therapist appointment, and she asked me if I wanted to come over and stay at her house the night before, and she would drive me to the therapy appointment. My therapist is in the city, and I'm a terrible city driver. I get really nervous with traffic, and she drives in the city all the time, so she didn't mind. So I said, sure. I showed up at her house, and we spent a big portion of that evening sitting around, chit-chatting, watching the dogs, having a glass of wine uh, on her front deck. So, a little later in the evening, we finally got back to the subject. Exactly how we got back to the subject, I honestly can't remember. It just ended up going that way. So, we got back to the subject of why I was going to the therapist the next day. And one of the things that... Uh, she said that really stuck with me was that no matter what I chose to do, she would be there for me no matter what. And that was really something that I needed to hear at the time because I wasn't sure anybody was going to be there. You know, I'm pretty um, isolated where I'm at. I live, you know, 10 hours away from family and I'm not out there. Um, so I really needed that support group, and she was there. Um, I finally admitted to her, confessed to her what was going on, how I felt, and, you know, aside from her comments that she would be there regardless, you know, we talked about her concerns, most of them safety concerns, which are legitimate, um, and then talked about what all I was thinking with the transition and what I was looking towards and maybe considering in the future, which is not set in stone. So the next day we went to the doctor's, went to the therapist appointment. She waited in the waiting room. We chatted the entire way there. Then she waited in the waiting room on me. When I came out, we talked the entire way home. 
and then um, we went out to lunch, and finally I did my three-hour trek home after, you know, being away for a full 24 hours. So, since then, we've talked almost every day, and a big part of it is talking about uh, my transition. She always asks questions about what's going on, what I'm feeling, what happens at my next therapist appointment, you know, how my doctor's appointment went. So, we couldn't be closer. Um, everybody needs that opportunity, needs somebody in their life that is right there for them, you know, no matter what, through thick and thin. And I've been blessed to have probably the best friend anyone could hope for, someone who stood beside me regardless. So I really hope that for everybody that's going through this kind of experience, it's incredibly important to have a support group. Um, if you don't have a support group, you know, start looking online, reach out to people, um, and, and see, you know, there may be more going on in your community than you realize. So it's incredibly important that you have people who are there to support you throughout every step of the process. So anyway, that's the video for today. That was my first experience uh, coming out to someone as transgender. Um, I'm sure there'll be many more videos about coming out because there's still a lot of coming out that I have to do. So just with ending, um, I'm really fascinated with a new song uh, by an artist. So I'm going to leave you with words from the lyrics of that song because we all know that everything can get incredibly stressful when you're in that transition process and the climate is not the most positive right now. So, new song, new plug, Kesha's album, and the song is Bastards, which sounds sort of funny, but I love the, the lyrics of the chorus, which is, Don't let the bastards get you down. And that's pretty much it. You know, there's always going to be those haters out there. You can only live for yourself in the end. So, enjoy your life. You only get the one. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button down in the bottom. I hope I'm pointing in the right direction. Um, give the video a thumbs up. And, you know, while you're at it, um, why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think. Share your thoughts, your feelings. You know, whatever's on your mind. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.